This is an interesting scene because I agree with Spock. I agree with Spock. Kirk wants to take on Nero, but I feel like he has no plan and Spock is making sense. What we need to do is catch up to that ship. Disable it, take it over, and get Pike back. We are technologically outmatched in every way. A rescue attempt would be illogical. Nero's ship Good point. would have to drop out of warp for us to overtake well, Then him. what about Great assigning point. engineering crews to try and boost our warp yield? Remaining power and crew are being used to repair radiation uh, leaks in the lower decks okay. and damage right. 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 communications without There's which we got cannot to be contact some way. Starfleet. We must gather with the rest of Starfleet to balance the terms of the next engagement. There won't I be agree. a next engagement. By the time we've gathered, it'll be too late. But you I say he's from the future, knows what's gonna happen, then the logical thing is to be unpredictable. You are assuming that Nero knows how events are predicted to unfold. The contrary, Nero's very presence has altered the flow of history, beginning with the attack on the USS Kelvin, culminating in the events of today, thereby creating an entire new chain of incidents that cannot be anticipated by either party. An alternate yep. reality. Precisely. Whatever oh, yeah. our lives might have been if the Hurrah. time continuum was disrupted, our destinies have changed. Mr. Sulu, plot a course to the Laurentian system, warp factor three. Spock, don't do that. Running back to the rest of the fleet for a, a, a confab is a massive waste of time. These are the orders issued by Captain Pike when he left He also ship. ordered us to go back and get him. Spock, you are captain now. You I have to I am aware make of the... my responsibilities, Mr. Every second we waste, Nero's getting closer to his next target. That is correct, and why I'm instructing you to accept the fact that I, I alone I will not allow us to go command. backwards. Jim, I have no problem instead of hunting Nero down. Security, escort him out. I mean... For everything that Kirk said, Spock had a solid reason to not do it. And okay. Kirk is running around yelling, like, we need to go forward. But, like, you are going against a ship from the future that was able to destroy, I don't know, 10, 20 ships mm -hmm. at once without taking any damage. And you're one ship that you can't catch up to the mining ship. And you want to take it on and destroy it? Like, I'm all for taking on the ship and destroying it, but how? You can't just, like, emotion your way into, <laughs> <laughs> to, like, destroying but, the ship. But, but emotionally, I do agree with Kirk. Like, we got we to gotta do something. Gotta, the ship is going towards Earth, and if it arrives at Earth, mm -hmm. not only is human or humans messed up, but the Federation mm -hmm. as a whole is messed up. Right. So, like, I, like, I agree. Like, I, I, I want to do something. I want to chase after Nero. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you want to take out Nero. So then the question becomes, what's the best course of action? Is the best course of action to try and take on a ship that clearly outmatches you without anything up your sleeve? Or clearly, to... outmatches, clearly outmatches you that you can't catch up to and you can't get on. Right. So, or is it better to go meet with the fleet and try to outnumber the ship and take it out? I think that makes more sense. Try to outnumber the ship. That's your... I agree. Like, if if Nero wants to take out Earth, say, and we want to stop him in the Enterprise, I don't think we can. Yeah, it's like a flag going up against an elephant. Just, elephant doesn't even care. Like, whatever. That's right. So the elephant doesn't care. And so, mm -hmm. in fact, you diminish the fleet. So you make the That's chances right. of taking Nero out less by doing some hero move that is entire, it almost is certainly going to fail. But it feels good, but it's almost certainly going to fail. In fact, I mean, the only reason it doesn't fail is because they find the um, the engineer on the ice planet, right? Yeah, Scotty. They find so Scotty. Scotty. He they has find the... Scotty on the ice planet, and he has the equation that can that can teleport you on the ship in 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 warp speed. It's even worse than that because Scotty hadn't invented it yet. It was Spock time traveling from the future that gave him That's right. the transwarp equation, which is the twist they needed to make the plan work. But they don't have that here. He's got hope and a prayer. Yeah. So while yeah. emotionally I agree with Kirk, but if you if I have an enemy that's taken me out and I want to stop him, I got to think about what's the best way to do that. I can't just be like I'm gonna attack, charge, and then we all get slaughtered. Like that's not good. <laughs> right if your entire team dies they can't they can't win if everyone's dead right mm -hmm. and he calls the the meeting a confab like it's some sort of like committee meeting that's gonna no no this is a com this is a wait, wait that, that auto completed confab an informal private conversation discussion Engage in informal private mm -hmm. conversation. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a private conversation somewhere mm -hmm. here in the Lorenzian mm -hmm. system. I see it. No, no, no. They were gonna we're gonna go meet to join up with the fleet to do combat. This isn't a confab. That's right. 
So I don't know what Kirk is talking about. Yeah, I guess that's what <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess that's the point of what Spock did. I guess it's you need, you get a leap before looking plus a let's be cautious and think things through. And the, the, the two of them together is actually what makes a good captain. I mean, sort of, because like if I'm on the bridge crew right now, Kirk rolls into the bridge and is like <laughs> yelling at people. This is stupid. What are you doing? Confab. Like, and, he, and he's we... just like, this is a logical thing. This is a logical thing. This one. And you're like, I, I don't want to follow you. Right. And and I actually kind of agree with Spock. Why are you yelling? Yeah. Let's let's dial it down and make the right decision. Please leave. <laughs> Please leave. I don't want to die today. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I would die. I would sacrifice my life if I had a high chance of taking out Nero's ship. But I don't want to sacrifice myself if I'm just doing it because it makes me feel better. Like, I want an actual chance to take out Nero. That's right. So I will sacrifice right. myself, but I gotta have a chance. Right. Kirk, what are you doing? Kirk. All feels. All feels. No reels. <laughs>